Gamrot's a tough guy. Gamrot lost to Islam. Now, we're not going to hold that against Gamrot because Islam is so good. But Gamrot lost a very close five-round battle to Islam. I watched it. No, I didn't. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. My memory played a trick on me. Gamrot and Islam never fought. Gaz Gaz Gamrot did drop a match, but it was two years ago, and it's the only fight that he's ever lost. He and Islam never met up. I just want to clarify that because I've mentioned a couple of times over the past that they have. And Gamrot had a very big fight. It was free TV. It was a main event. It was five rounds. It was the whole bit. It was a really tough fight. He ended up winning that contest. And Dana said on the back of that contest, he's thinking about putting Gamrot in there with Gaethje. Now, that conversation went absolutely no further. But somehow, over time, in my mind, that became Islam. Well, now Benny is getting ready to fight Gamrot. And I'm bringing this to you because one thing that Benny doesn't do, and it's the only ingredient that Benny doesn't do, is Benny doesn't come speak to you guys. It is the only thing. You let me be a manager, you give me a guy with Benny's skills, I'll have, I'll have him in a world title fight years ago. You give me a guy that can compete like Benny, trains like Benny, is a professional like Benny, I will have him a world title fight years ago. But the one thing that Benny doesn't do, he doesn't come out and make his case to you guys. Now, he did yesterday. He did this with the schmo, and I watched it, and he was great. I mean, that was my biggest takeaway. My biggest takeaway is, Benny, you're great. He was popping on camera. He had great ideas. A couple of the takes were somewhat hot. I thought, Benny, you got to do more of this. And Benny weighed in on Michael Chandler. He said if Chandler beats Poirier and gets a world title fight out of that, it's a joke. Now, I like that strategy. Not only do you need to elevate yourself to get somewhere, you've got to start pulling other guys down if you think that they're getting a little bit too far ahead. Chandler's going to be a feature match against a known star in Madison Square Garden after Benny's fight. And whoever gets the final say generally has an edge. So it's very smart for Benny to do that. Not to mention, that's not going to make Chandler cry. I mean, I love that match. Benny versus Chandler. That's a match I would not predict for you that we could get. We couldn't get for it because Chandler has separated himself in the eye and the mind of the fan, and Benny doesn't really play that game. But Benny's the highest-ranked guy. How does that ranking go, guys? Because there's no champion. Is it Oliveira's ranked one, Benny's two, Islam three? I believe that's how it goes. And either way, even if I've got a number off, I know Benny is in front of Islam. Are you aware of that? Benny won his last six fights. If I'm wrong, he uh, won his last seven fights. Now he's getting ready to fight Gamrot, who people don't know. Gamrot's just not a known guy, but that's what keeps happening to Benny. He keeps on fighting these guys that are really hard that nobody else will fight. It's a card placement issue. Gamrot's not a main event guy. Benny's not a main event guy because he's not over with you guys, but he's not over there because he doesn't talk to you guys. And the one time that he does, which was yesterday, he was awesome. He was really interesting. Benny talked about Islam. I apologize. Bo Nickel versus Hasmat Shamaya. And Benny said, oh yeah, Bo could take him down. Yes. Bo not only can deal with his wrestling, Bo is a superior wrestler. But Benny went further and he said, it's different. It, it, it's MMA. There's different conditioning. There's different skills. There's different setups. There's different experiences. And those favor Chamaya. If you put him in a fight today, I would pick Chamaya. But he went even further to say, if you put him in a fight one year from now, I have no idea what they're both going to do between now and 12 months. But if you put it in 12 months, I'll bet on Bo. Okay. Because see, that's a conversation that keeps living. And, and I've got I've to give Bo Nickel a ton of credit. When guys come into this sport, they can't get other people to talk about them. They've got to really prove themselves. If you can attach yourself right now to one of the top stars and convince the world you're not scared of him, you win. And Bo now has top guys like Benny giving his interview time, putting Bo over. It's very helpful. And that fight is interesting. And it's only interesting for one reason. It's not as though... Shemayev has slid, but there's a new guy that's coming to town, and anytime a new guy in a, in a clean shirt comes to town, he knows the most, right? That's an old proverb, but he really used to work that way. If you were in a village or you were in a town and some guy comes right to town, you don't know him, and he looks nice, 
He gets to come in and be the expert. He gets to come in and teach you guys things. He knows the most. You will listen to him. It's, it's real. Bo's getting a little bit of a bounce from that. And the one thing with Chemayev is Chemayev takes everybody down. Not only does he take them down, he takes them down fast. Chemayev will take you down in less, way less, on average, than 30 seconds. I mean, it's much closer to 8 seconds. So when you put him in there somewhere interesting like Bo, who's not likely to be taken down, as a matter of fact, is likely to be the one getting the takedown, it is an interesting conversation. And the mere fact that we're having it, that Benny's having it, that it's, it's making news out here, that I'm coming on it now, getting Bo and, and Chemayev together, I mean, it's a good job, Bo. Bo did something right to make this last. Now, that fight itself, since it is a topic, we might as well weigh in on that a little bit. And I'll tell you, Bo's a lot bigger. Like, Bo's a really good-sized 85-pounder. At one point in wrestling, by example, Bo was going 96 kilograms, which is 211 pounds. Now, he was small for 211. But I'm just sharing with you, at 185, he's anything but small. And Chemayev, it appears, is going to be a 170-pounder. So when you think of these guys in your mind, you, you probably don't need to combine them. There's probably not a whole lot to see there. You have one guy with more experience has done MMA versus another guy who's, who's bigger and younger. I mean, it's, it's one of these things where it's a fun conversation. And what does happen to Benny, right? Benny wasn't talking about Chandler and trying to pull Chandler out of a potential number one contender spot. He's trying to make sure that that spot is preserved for himself. And what does happen to Benny? If Benny goes and gets the edge on Gamron, is that enough? Is that enough for you guys? Is that enough for Benny to challenge either Oliveira or Islam? On paper, of course it is. But I'm asking with you guys. Benny's got everything that you need except the mandate of the masses, but he's never asked for it. I'm asking for it. I'm asking for it on his behalf. And if Islam wins, you can't tell me Benny's not good enough to fight Islam. Benny doesn't qualify to fight Islam. Benny was signed to fight Islam. He was supposed to fight Islam. So you can't tell me that. I don't like the rankings. But at some point in our sport, when you solidify your spot and you give X number of people an opportunity to take it from you and everybody fails, we have to show an integrity to the ranking system, which we set up in the first place for some reason. And that all leans to Benny. Keep that in mind. Great matches coming. Benny has gone as far as to say that he is the backup fighter. If Oliver or Islam doesn't fight, Benny's saying his fight with Gamrot will be broken up and he will be put into that main event spot. If that is true, if he was actually given that information, that even strengthens further what I'm telling you, that you can't tell me Benny doesn't belong there if they're willing to put Benny in there right now. Interesting fights, interesting matchups. And as far as Benny Darus not speaking to you guys, maybe that's going to change. And when he did speak, I'll tell you, he was very interesting.